Hey what's up everybody my name is Trophynut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and we're at the boat landing where we're gonna meet up with Regis uh, to uh, well have a meeting with uh, the Unseen Elder, the Vampire Overlord as you will. So hello Regis I presume he's gonna be right next to us. Yeah there he is. Hello. Ready for this uh, lovely expedition? You've met with Oriana. How did it go? She's kind of a bitch. Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small children. Oh, I admit I'd heard rumors, but... preferred to lend them no credence. Rather not talk about it. Caves west of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but... Yeah, I know. You'd still prefer to free Sienna, for Dedloff's sake. For the sake of you both. Oh, please. Orphanage, what happened there? His fault, plain and simple. City gutters are overflowing with blood. That's his doing, too. And you're worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? To meet the Unseen Elder is to face mortal danger. I've said so all along and never in jest. You are a friend. A dear friend. I'd rather you not risk your neck unnecessarily. I think it's natural, I think it's obvious. Obviously natural. Especially when we have an alternative. An entirely reasonable one. Um... We won't change our mind because, well, for one, this, uh, f these few episodes are meant to see the other way. And we know that if we free Sienna, that love ends up dead either way. So, I wonder if this will change when we actually see the Unseen Elder. So it won't change my mind, period. I'm a witcher, Regis. I don't cut deals with monsters. I cut monsters down. And I don't give a damn about the risks. Hmm. Well, I understand. I'll not mention it again. Thanks. I do think it's nice that they give you another option to uh, go back to uh, saving Siana first instead of going to the Unseen Elder, but let's find him. Time we were on our way. Listen, I need to sail there. Coming with? Or would you rather float over as a puff of fog? I'd not be able to talk as a puff. And, as you know, talking is something I'd very much like to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know that. In length and in detail. Let's go. Okay. Might as well have the company. Okay. Uh, oh, there, there he is. I kind of missed him over there on the other side of the boat. Let's see. Not much about this unseen elder. Only that he takes unkindly to guests. Especially the unannounced. Oh, joy. Got a plan. Some idea how to appease him? Mm -hmm. The custom when meeting an unseen elder is to bestow upon him a stone symbolizing peace. Yet this type of stone occurs only in Harkland. Take it you're fresh out. Alas, just so. Thus, I fear we must rely on my personal charm. Where'd the unseen's hatred of social calls come from? Folk forget to wipe their boots. They get sick of sweeping up all the time. Hmm. It's somewhat more complex. Tell me slowly. Don't use complicated words, and I might just understand. I don't doubt your intelligence, but, well, it's just hard to explain to a human. This world is a foreign land to us. Unpleasant. Hostile, even. The Elder does what he can to isolate, protect himself. And we, as all guests, hinder him in this endeavor. Okay, then. Um... Hopefully he's not that mad at us. I don't want to lose my head in this, even though it is a separate I'll safe fly Reconnoiter a bit. Do some reconnaissance. I don't think reconnoiter is a fucking term, but never mind. Um, so it's here on the left, I presume. Hopefully Regis got us a nice invitation with a nice bow on top. I don't think so. Ooh, there's a place of power here. I want to keep that in mind for the other uh, safe file. So let's head out. Ooh, nice staircase. Geralt, over here. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I don't really need a place of power, <laughs> so let's just go in. Might I suggest you use Oriana's key? Okay, open. Hello. It worked, and a good thing too. I'd be hard pressed to see through this gate as a lot of fog. What's inside? You know what to expect? Hmm. Vampires? Funny. <laughs> Okay, yeah, vampires probably. Let's save. There we go. And let's take a look inside. Hello. 
You've got visitors. It's only a witcher. I'm not gonna kill you. Even if I... Oh. And then I took a swim. Um, yeah, it's probably over there. <laughs> not over here. Uh, ooh. It's nicely lit up a hat. A fleeter. Got company. Then we must Okay, he's... Oh, never mind. Thank you, Regis. Thank you very much. <laughs> he just whacked the guy. Uh, more tunnels. Then suppose I need to be scared of anything then? Nice big open you cave. Close. How can you tell? Listen. I hear Don't water hear dripping. Hmm. Not one rat, one bat. Dead quiet. Except As for I your said, rambling. He despises guests. He despises guests and vermin and every other living creature, then, I suppose. So having two that talk might not be such a good idea. Can you knock somewhere here, ring a bell or something? Or none of the above? He's grasping his belt, but... Is he hanging upside down? He is! Hello! Oh, lovely fellow. Um... Veris nats atranes, avile clever regis et. Oh, he's already down. Set laugh. Oh, that's. It looks like he's hurting. What the hell? Um, don't want to hurt you. Rather not hurt you. <laughs> Oh, God. He froze Regis. I didn't take any black blood. Did we just... Okay, maybe I should have taken a black blood. I'm gonna die, aren't I? No! What the hell just happened? Okay. Uh, healing potion. Gotta drink one. Damn it. Lost some gear. Uh, uh, need to find it. Oh, this is interesting. Jesus Christ. Um. So I see my swords back there. So Geralt, would you kindly start moving? That was a Bioshock reference. So, Grandmaster Wolf and Steel Sword, and. And my Silver Sword. Let's re equip those, I presume. So, I lost only my potions, apparently. And my crossbow. I've lost my crossbow as well. I still kind of have food, so. If I start eating that, I can actually heal myself while I'm doing everything else. Oh, my crossbow? Okay. Now I have... Uh, there's something at my feet as well, I think. No. Okay, severe swallow. There we go. No, that's... God damn it. If I would have my inventory ready... There we go. Okay. Get out of the cave. That would be a nice plan. Um, are you recovering, Gerald, or what are you doing? Nope. He's... Yeah, he's doing that. Sometime Dead. later. That was close. Um. Kill me even if I get out of here, unless I think of something quick. Find a way to appease the unseen elder. So we, uh, we just talked about the um, what should I call it? The the rock we should uh, give him. Oh, there's something over here as well. White Rafford's decoction. Okay, so that was the last thing I actually needed. So. Yeah, let's find a way to appease the Unseen Elder. Strange skull and... St strange coins. 
What the hell? What is this place? So there's a few items around here as well, it seems. Well, well. Someone was here before me. Okay. So not a strange skull and ancient coins. Let's loot this. Mage's notes. Ten minutes after arrival, the teleportation worked. I managed to get into the caves with most of my equipment. Most importantly, the megascope is in perfect condition, so I should be able to communicate with Banard. I just had to set it up in the right place. Thirty minutes after the arrival, I have already observed numerous gravitational anomalies, which suggest that Soral Deggerlund was right. The boundary between spheres really is very thin here. More tests sh should allow me to determine whether a passage to our world has really opened up. And half an hour later, I haven't met any vampires yet, but I can hear their voices. I'm going to explore. I'll have to be careful. What happened to him? So, yeah, the water is going up here, which is interesting. Let's follow the footsteps, footprints. footprints. Deep set, a man's. So that's probably the mages. Maybe he found a way to appease the elder. No way I can climb up there unless I could give myself a boost. Unless we get some gravity stuff right now. Because it seems like things are shifting around here. Um. If I. This is a puzzle, right? I'm gonna have to put myself... So the footsteps are going this way. Okay. Let's check if I can't... Ooh. Can't use any vampire oil. There we go. A proto fleeter. Leaders. And there they go. Damn it, what kind of vampire was that? Never seen the likes. Yeah, I do want to check that out. Proto fleeters. Never seen a vampire like that in my life. Proto fleeters are relatives of fleeters which came from the world of the higher vampires to our own during the conjunction of the spheres. The members of this species are characterized by their considerable strength and agility as well as the strange glow they emit, a trait most likely tied to their otherworldly nature. proto fleeters have never had significant contact with the outside world, having spent their entire time on our planet in the Unseen Elder's Cave, whose atmosphere is very similar to that of their home world. Yeah, so we're very close to their world, which means that... Yeah, the, the, the veil between the two dimensions is really thin here. That's why the gravitational forces uh, change. Uh, let's keep following the footprints. Oh, there we have the megascope. Mage's notes. Two hours after the arrival, starting the megascope didn't work. I'm probably too far underground to make contact with Banart, thus I have to try to communicate with vampire superiors without further consultation. I better work fast. Megascope damaged okay can we fix it doesn't look like we can I'm gonna loot everything here cuz it might help us out later on um, let's keep following that stream flowing upwards strange clearly worth a look okay so I'm gonna guess we can just walk up because his footprints go up That's gonna be trippy. This is a really cool quest to be hidden behind a choice. Well, the same as the Land of a Thousand Fables, but... So yeah, gravity works that way. I don't think you need a head start, Geralt. Just put... put oh, wow. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. So sadly, they couldn't animate that, apparently. I can't... I'm 
Upside down. Gravity's flipped, getting pulled up instead of down. Interesting, but let's loot everything. Hand gate boots and armor. Hand gate. Uh, so those are the footprints, and there are a few more proto fleeters over there. Uh, I can actually no 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 no. no. We don't want to go there. Uh, so let's keep following the footprints down the stairs. Anything lootable around here doesn't seem like it. Water is flowing over to the other side. There we go. Another proto fleeter down. And then I think we have a few more uh, mages notes over there. Oh, and the dead mage, I think. Crumpled leather, a runestone, and diamond Maybe dust. This will tell me something. Jan, Dean Marcellus has made it clear that as a specialist in post-conjunctive species, I am to provide you with all the help necessary in preparing for the trip you are planning. Maybe I will start with a warning. It's pure madness. Assuming that you survive teleportation and opening, a and opening a stable portal several dozen meters above the ground is, as you know, highly risky, you will then be torn to shreds. As much as vampire superiors are actually rational creatures with developed cognitive and analytical functions, other species may be less open to attempts to make contact. If by chance you do live to have an audience with this unseen elder, do the following immediately. Genuflect, say words of greeting in their language, El Niyama, I'm not gonna even try that again. And place on the ground the attached Harkland Argonite Aragonite crystal as a gift. Then and only then is there the slightest chance that you will be heard. But by the gods, speak quickly and don't waste your words. Jochen Brand. For the unseen. Damn, could you use something like that? So ooh, what's that? Must be the offering for the unseen. Yes, the Aragonite crystal. Offering for the unseen elder. Maybe if I give this to the unseen elder, he won't kill me. At least not right away. Okay, so now we need to get out of here. Maybe check out this. Oh no 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 no. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to go back. Ooh, there's a katana, kanta, tat, kantata, kantata. Okay, so let's jump across again. Yeah, there we go. And let's get back. Okay, so I jumped up towards the center area. Seems to be the way out. Um, the rock extends to the side where gravity is reversed. Tip will fly upwards if it breaks off. Just kind of collapse the base. Okay, with art then, I suppose? Ah, okay. So but now... I climbed down to get here won't work. Could be another though. Need to follow the current downstream. Need to follow the current downstream. So this one, don't jump off. Jump into the water, because they, they actually mean I need to jump down, right? Oh god. I'm just gonna do it like this. Uh, okay. This this doesn't seem safe. Uh here we go. Oh ho 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 Ow! That looked painful. So now we created a platform with the rock we dropped down from up there. This is really cool. Um not as cool as the land of a thousand fables, mind you, but still pretty nice. Um okay, so this now was here and that allows me to get up. Just need the elder to discover his talkative side. Okay, shouldn't be too much of a problem now that we have all the ingredients, I hope. Hello, Mr. Elder. Are you still home? I hope you are. Here we go. I hope I don't need to choose the words I need to uh, say, because that might end badly. And what's something set sh shatly? Hello, Regis. You seem to be still alive. Sha sha. Yeah, Echo Deep. 
Oh, and he took it away. I don't think we ever would be able to kill this guy. You live. Don't, don't. Barely. Yeah. You're not attacking. That mean you'll hear me out. Don't mince your words, Geralt. S speak. We need that love. Okay, if I came out of what was that place, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna mince my words. So hear about that love. Hear about that love. He's. I know who he is. What of him? He's sick to swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. That's true. That love spells trouble for you. That's not gonna work, I think. Innocence or dying, he won't give a single shit about that. So help me now return the favor. Help me, and I'll return the favor. <laughs> you help me. How? Depends on you. I'm not just some human. I'm you. Ah, uh, no one. That might be true I as well. Ask for the last time. Why should I care about Detlef? Why should I help you? Um. He doesn't care about innocence, so that law spells trouble for you. Sooner or later, that law will bring trouble, serious trouble. How? As Kagmar brought trouble before, folk will take him down eventually. Might need a year or two or a decade, but they'll find a way. And then they'll go after other vampires. And eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear. Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages. They'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow, you can be sure. You'll kill them, of course. So they'll flood these caves, or bring in sappers from Mahakam and collapse them. No. This place must be secure. The gate. <gasps> I'm sorry, Regis, for all that. But now, do we actually get to summon that love over here? What is your plan? You can summon him, right? Convince that love to spare the city. Let's try that. I wonder if we can actually save that love's life here. Dead love. We have to convince him to spare the city. Will he? Probably not. Yet, we must try nonetheless. If there is a fight, if you help kill him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still, I ask you to summon Detlaf. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon Detlaf. Okay, so it ends the same way. I thank you. That's sad. That's actually pretty sad. I thought they would have another chance at redemption for uh, that love. Oh, that is awesome. And suddenly he's at the ceiling again. Jesus Christ. That was one impressive guy. Goodbye, Mr. Elder. So, let's see how this conversation goes this time. Yep, level 47. Thank you. Oh, that went better than I expected it would. Okay. Better you kidding. <laughs> I think that went better than... You kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived. Though you are risking your life. The question is why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter, for Detlaf and I are bound by blood, but you... You could simply walk away. So why, my friend? 
Why stay and risk your hide? Uh, for you, of course. For you. You're in a heap of trouble, Regis. Trouble Detloff brought on. Seen you die once already. That one time was enough. I... Mm. I'm not certain I know what to say. Thank you. Thank you would be I'm nice. grateful, Geralt. Thank there we go. Good, Regis, good. So, all unseen elders like that? All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming. No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but most can be reasoned with. But him, it was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems it causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters, no euphemism required, you needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands, we were but a handful. Not much choice. Assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world, like him. Okay. I uh, think you'll all ever be able to go home through Came that I portal. Was into that where the gate between worlds is. In a sense, yes. Just slammed shut, sealed tight. Think it'll ever open again? Think you'll be able to go home? I sincerely doubt it, and I think, in truth, the elder knows that as well. So why would he stay down there? What's the real reason? Hmm. To stay with the gate analogy, no door is ever completely impermeable. Smells come through, for instance. And when the wind rises, some dust might be blown through the cracks. A palpable trace of things on the other side. It's not much, but it is something. He yearns for home. That's actually make him, uh, that actually makes him uh, a bit more human. So what are your feelings? And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone and engage in vacuous conversation while Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour, not for an evening, but for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment, should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, Monster! Monster! And they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds... tiring. Damn tiring. I yes, indeed. Better myself. Poor, poor vampires. Never thought I would say that, but poor vampires. So, time to face Detloff. Time to summon Detloff. For the second time. <sighs> yes, high time. Do, do you wish to go to Tesha Mutner right away? Well, why not? Let's hey, go. I want to see how this, uh, this conversation ends this time. 